in today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. First of all, I'm sorry for yesterday's missing out on the upload, but uh, it's life and I was, um, I had a long day and ended up with a Chinese class and it was, um, I was really tired and got home late, so fortunately couldn't do it. But catching up again and today with end video. For those who have good eyes, but maybe not, because you're already seen by the thumbnail. So let's get over with the drama and the suspense. So I managed to get a very small, let's see if I can do this, a very small colony of Oocerai EAB Roy. I always struggle to say this name, it's amazing. Let's see if I can improve this. Uh, no. Jesus, this is going to be difficult. <clears throat> Let's see. So, I have been keeping this colony more or less in secret because they were uh, very small. And I wasn't sure if they were would be able to make it. And as you can see, and I haven't seen this before, the enclosure is full of mites. Jesus. This is the problem of um, this species, is that I, I always have to keep the very high humidity and the soil, and probably when I, when I feed them the roaches, the roach probably brings some mites, or the soil already has one or two mites, and then this happens. It doesn't seem to be affecting them, but still, it's not looking good. Probably I should have kept this colony a little bit longer in secret. Oh well. But this will be a good, also a good uh, experiment. Uh, I think we should post about the successes and the failures. So they have a good amount of larvae for the colony size that it is. And yeah, now I was going to feed them. As usual, a crushed roach. This is this hole is the the entrance to their nest and once I cover the enclosure again they will start feeding on the roach and decomposing it slowly but surely I'm sorry today not a very high quality video I'm trying to get a better angle so the dark I think you can see on the screen some lighter colorations on the workers and the darker one and of course the lighter ones would probably be the new generation uh, you would be amazed how fast the the newly caught colonies from the wild can start laying eggs and within three or four days if the conditions are right, they would start laying, and they have this huge capacity to. Um, sorry, they have the workers have a very big longevity for the size of the ants that they are, and um, many people that contact me because of the other videos or my care guide on the blog. Um, they ask me how long can they stay and uh, because without brood they might fear that the colony will soon perish but it's not the case the i think these workers can live easily three or four maybe maybe even more months and yeah now the question will be for the next update 
how much will they grow and what will I do about these mites looking at it I might think I'm thinking to uh, probably introduce some spring tiles since this enclosure is uh, humid enough to sustain them as well and probably I also need to start cleaning up the leftovers all right guys just a quick update, a quick uh, video here on this colony. Let's see how they do in the future. And next time I'll post a macro video. I think the mites are already onto the roach, yeah. Hmm, sad. Right, bye bye, see you tomorrow.